Hello and welcome from Eastern Europe, my name is Colbert HD and this is short weekly gaming news. In the next few days several great games will be released. One of them is World War Z, where you're gonna kill tons of zombies, tons of fast running zombies, just like in Left 4 Dead. Remember that game? Sadly Valve doesn't make games anymore. So this is what you get instead of Left 4 Dead sequel. There is a book and a movie with Brad Pitt named the same, so if you like zombies and never saw the movie, I suggest you to watch it. I don't know about the book, never have read it, but I really like the film. Buy some beer, some vodka, potato salad and relax on your soul. I think you can find movie on the Netflix. Good news for strategy fans, because Anno 1800 will be released the same day, 16th of April. This is one of the most anticipated strategy games of this year so far, so if you like strategy, this is what you have been waiting for. Another interesting thing for RTS lovers, developers of Conan on Conquered revealed some gameplay of this game that looks really good. You know what else looks good? You. You look good. And if you want to see whole demonstration, you'll find the link in the description below. There is also some news for RPG hack and slash lovers. A few days ago, first trailer of Dogsburg was released. Game looks like Torchlight, and I don't even know it's good or bad, because I like dark, grim and gloomy graphics. That's because I'm old, grumpy man, and I was born in Soviet Union, where everything was grey colored and smelled like poo. That's why I like less colorful games. Full trailer, as always, in the description below. Great news for Star Wars fans! Respawn Entertainment, makers of Apex Legends and Titanfall showed off their next game, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and presented semi-cinematic trailer. Publisher Electronic Arts revealed that the game would be single-player only and will not contain any microtransactions and would have no loot boxes. Seems impossible that Electronic Arts would do such thing. It's like alcohol-free vodka. Such things must be rarer than, I don't know, unicorns without horns or something. Frostpunk is coming to Xbox One and PS4 this summer, so when you get hot while drinking cold delicious beer, you can dive into the world of frost and freeze. A few days ago, a pretty cool game was announced for PlayStation 4 VR system. It's called Paper Beast, and the name is pretty accurate, because everything in this strange world is made of some sort of origami. If you don't have VR, don't worry, game will be available for regular PS4 either, but a year later, in 2020. So that's pretty much it for today. News a bit scarce in gaming world right now, but after two months we will get information overload with E3 exhibition, and I think my gaming news will be either more often or way longer. If you like my gaming news, please consider supporting me on Patreon, I don't earn anything from doing this and I'm making news just because I have spare time. Thank you for watching, please subscribe for more and have nice gloomy grim and terrifying day, just like in Soviet Union.